Hey guys, Steve here with Accuracy X. We have another cool build to share with you today on the bench review. So this is one of our more unique builds. We've actually done a build like this before. Uh, the one that makes this one unique is this one is a X series. I think the one we did before was a pro. And what makes this unique is it's a six inch long slide in nine millimeter, 1911. But we've got our X comp on here, our three port X comp. So there's a lot going on with this pistol. So, you know, we've got a, rel a, a relatively medium powered cartridge, but with a lot of mass on the slide. They wanted a traditional uh, 1911 look. And we have a three port comp, which is bleeding off even more energy. So getting these things to run um, is a bit of a challenge, but it's even more of a challenge, like in the case for this customer, where they wanted to use a special ammo. They had, uh, I guess, an ammo restriction at the range that they shoot at. I, I do not understand why, but it's a thing, I guess. And they, I said, well, send us the ammo and we'll figure it out. And this was uh, 100 grain projectiles. It's a federal branded ammo and it's a target, some type of a target ammo that they have. And it's, it's pretty low powered. I mean, I don't think it's 125 on the power factor. I think it's below that, I really do. Um, so getting it to run was a challenge. Now we get it, we did it. We were able to get it to run for them. Um, you know, it's right on the edge of what's physically possible in the laws of physics. But you know, we, we, we like challenges here. We like trying to solve a, a customer's problem when we can. And in this case, we're happy to tell them that we were able to get it. Uh, we like the two-tone look, black star stainless steel. Again, as I mentioned, this is an X series. So it's gonna have the X-Series proprietary swoosh uh, cuts on the serrations back, X-Series branding here. It's the only way you can get that. We have customers call, hey, I want a pro, but I like these serrations. We don't do that. If you want those serrations, that's that's part of what makes the X-Series unique and special. And uh, in this case, um, we were you know pleased to be able to get this gun to run because not only is it gotta look cool, but it's gotta shoot good. So as you can see, here's the test target for this, X-Series test target. And let's measure this real quick. We test so much that uh, usually we fill all this stuff out at the end. So that's about, you know, 1.3 inches, let's call it. It might be a little bit less than that, but about 1.3 inches there. Um, and, you know, this is, uh, this, yeah, this is, a, this is a, a nice little build here. So one and a half inches is the guarantee for 10 shots at 50 yards. This easily passed that. And let me show you what else is cool about this, our multi-site slot site system. So I have the front screw out and I didn't put this screw in just for the speed of, for the video, but I'll show you how easy it is to take out the screws here. And again, there's just two other screws that we would take out, but I, I left them out for the video. You guys can see the full deal. There would be a screw here and there'd be a screw here that we would take out. Um, but then our micro rail comes off. You can see the, how light that is. Let me grab these screws out of here. Look how light what we relieve on the underside of that. It's uh, very light, feathery light, and it's proprietary for the aim point uh, micro, uh, primarily H2s. Uh, the T models will fit on here too, but most of the target guys, once the H model, they don't need the night vision uh, options on there. And then all we have to do now is take one of our multi-site modules on the back here, and take those same screws, put them in, and tighten them down. And as easy as that, you now have a metallic sight gun with our Bomar type sight, target front sight. Our front sights are partridge cut, serrations. We typically run a 125 on the front. That's typically the sight picture that's, that's best. This is a high mount sight. Target guys like this because it brings the sight up, hangs it off the back, increases that sight radius, gives a very clean sight picture. We make a buried version where it's more tactical and traditional where it's sitting forward and buried down, looks great. But target guys like this because it makes a great clean sight picture. You can see really easy and it keeps everything up. And, you know, as you can see, this gun's, this gun's a shooter. Uh, this customer had unique needs. They wanted to be able to shoot dot and metallic sights and they're they're a very serious target shooter, so accuracy was very important for them, hence why they got the X-Series. Uh, X-Series is still by far the most popular performance level that we build for customers. We offer Pro, 
and uh, that's that's very very excellent pistol. And what we're fond of saying, the only pistol that we know of that's more accurate than our own pro builds is our own Pro Plus and X Series builds. So accuracy is is uh, something that's going to you know perform. But getting this thing to run with that low powered ammo was was tough. This is actually the pistol that we did the comparison, and it was kind of a gag. It was just funny. But we said, you know, which one kicks more, an airsoft pistol or this pistol? And we did a side-by-side -side comparison. You can you can go watch that video on our social media elsewhere. But we literally did a side-by-side -side comparison of the muzzle rise and recoil flip. And I'm telling you, it was really close. Like, it, at, at worst, it was a tie. And uh, that led to a couple of questions on social media where somebody said, hey, with such low-powered ammo – comp's not doing anything and and i was like well i disagree it's just it's running at lower energy levels but it's still performing obviously if you're running major ammo in here that's going to be a lot more gas and that's going to have a lot more you know resistance but you're also fighting a lot more recoil so it's all relative uh we've designed this this x comp to be incredibly efficient so it worked really good um the other thing i'd like to show you is as we let this slide go into battery if you see that it's hanging off the back right there. You can see that overhang like right there. And all you got to do is press that into battery and it'll fall into battery. So that shows you we're still getting that great lockup that, we, that we're known for. Um, so right there and it falls into battery just with a little sludge like that. So uh, a cool build. Hope everybody enjoyed seeing it. If you want to see more, go to our social media, like, subscribe, all of that. We've got, you know, all the major channels. We're even on X now. So, um, you know, if you want to, if you're, if you're on X and you want to follow us there, uh, we have a lot more latitude to talk about things and share things where some of the other social media channels are very strict and, um, kind of ridiculously so but uh again hope you enjoyed this review of this x series six inch long slide with a three port x comp and until the next one guys hold them hard <laughs>